Hi everyone, today I will show you how to make this square. It's a simple square. Uh, we will make uh, this rows uh, at the end of the video and attach it. Uh, at first we will make the square, okay? And it's not hard, uh, so don't worry about it. I will use these yarns. Alize Cotton Goat. Um, it's acrylic and cotton. It recommends size 2 or 4, uh, between size 2 and 4 mm hook. Uh, it's size 2 yarn, I think. Uh, that's yarn art jeans. It's almost same yarn and it says it's size 2 yarn so that's one two and this one is cotton and pack i don't know what's the, uh, this uh, um, i will use three millimeter crochet hook with um, of course, you can use bigger size hook and yarn too. And uh, if you are ready, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Let's start. I will start with the magic ring, but if you are not familiar with the magic ring, you can start like that. Make a slip knot, chain four, insert into the first chain, make a slip stitch, and make your double crochet into this uh, space here. Work into this space, okay? You can start like that. But that, that's not too hard to uh, so try to make a magic ring. It's uh, it looks beautiful. Hold this yarn with your fingers. Wrap the yarn around your fingers, and wrap it one more time. Hold it with your uh, little finger. Insert your hook here. Grab this yarn. Make a twist here, grab the same yarn, pull through. Chain two more, okay? And we will count this as a double crochet. And next to it, we will make 11 double crochet. One, two, Three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. With this first. It's 12. Close the magic ring, <laughs> but <laughs> not like me. <laughs> Insert into the first chain. Grab the yarn, make a slip stitch. I will make one more slip stitch. Insert between first two double crochet. That's our chains and second double crochets. Insert here between them. Grab the yarn. Make a slip stitch. And we will start from here. Chain three. 
insert into the same place and make a double crochet. We have two double crochets here right now. Into the next space, not into this stitch, okay? Between these two double crochets, make two double crochet. Between next two double crochets, make two. Make two. And two. Keep going like that. Finish this row. I complete the row and have 24 double crochets right now. Join from the third chain. If I could. No. I will make a slip stitch. I join here. You can make two slip stitches if you want. Insert into the first stitch and make a slip stitch. And insert into the space, make a slip stitch. I will show you like that. You see, I made these two between these two double crochet. Okay? This time I will insert between two double crochets. Okay, not here. I will skip these two. I made two of them into same place. Okay, skip these two and work here. Skip these two, work here. Chain 3, that's my first double crochet, insert here, make 2 more double crochets, chain 1, skip 2 and into here, make 3 double crochets, 1, 2, 3, Chain one, skip two here, make three double crochets, chain one, skip two, make three double crochets, chain one and keep going like that, see at the end. I'm at the end of the row, chain one, and join with a slip stitch from the third stitch, third chain. I have totally uh, 36 double crochets right now. Now chain one, we will cut this yarn. Take the main color. And insert into this first space or any space you want. I will start from here. Make three chains. That's my first double crochet. I will make two more. One, two. Chain one. Skip these three double crochets into the next space, make three double crochets. One, two, and three. Chain one, and into the next space, we will make corner, our first corner. 
Yarn over twice. Insert into this space. Grab the yarn. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. We made a treble. And we will make two more. Chain two. Make three treble in the same place. Two, three. That's our first corner. Chain one into this next space. Make three double crochets. One, two, three. Chain one into the next one. Make three double crochets. Chain one and again it's corner. Yarn over twice, insert into the next space, make three treble. Two chains into same place, make three more. Chain one, make three double crochets into the next space. Chain one, make three double crochets. Chain one, and here we will make another corner, then three double crochets, three double crochets, and a corner. I will complete here and turn. I made the last corner, chain one and join with a slip stitch. Chain three. That's my first double crochet. And uh, into the next stitch, insert, make a double crochet into the next stitch, make a double crochet. Into this chain one space, make a double. And keep putting double crochets into every stitch. Don't miss any of them. I'm almost at the corner. And for the corner, you will make two double crochets, two chain, two double crochets. Starting from the first stitch, make your double crochets again. Don't skip this, okay? Don't miss this one. Three, four, I'm in the corner again. I will make two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets. And there must be 19 uh, double crochets for one side. I will count. 
Yes, 19. And complete this row like that. At the end of this row, I made my last double crochet into this chain one space and join from the third chain. Chain three. Let's first double crochet again and starting from the next stitch, put double crochets. It's same with this row. We will just put one double crochet into every stitch. And for the corner, we will make two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets. And put uh, double crochets for every side. Uh, we will have 23 double crochets for each side. And uh, see you at the end. For the next row, we will make double crochets and one chain spaces. And uh, if we start from here, it will be wrong. We have too many stitches uh, than we want here. So I will just make one slip stitch. Insert into this next stitch, make a slip stitch. Okay, we'll not start from this three chain, we will start from the next double crochet. Then chain four. There's a double crochet and one chain space. Skip one into the next stitch, make a double. Chain one, skip one into the next stitch, make a double. Chain one, skip one into the next stitch, make a double. Chain one, skip one and a double. Keep doing, same thing. And in the end, we will have one last stitch here. Chain one, skip this one and into the corner, make two double crochets, two chains, two more double crochets. Chain one, skip this first one, into the next, make a double. Chain one, skip one, make a double. Chain one, skip one, make a double. We will keep doing like that. Make the corners same. Don't forget to put one chains here, two. Uh, at the end of the row, join from this third chain. Okay. Leave a chain here and you will have 12 uh, one chain space here. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Chain 2. We will make half the double crochet for this row and that's the first one. Insert into the space yarn over pull through from all the loops that's a half double crochet insert into the stitch make one yarn over make half double crochet and put one half double crochet into a stitch and one half double crochet into this space And in the corner, we will make two here. And for here, 
we will make it two ways okay first one insert here and make three half double crochets and starting from the first stitch keep making half double crochets that's the first one and second insert here make two half double crochets two chains and two half double crochets then again starting from the first stitch make half double crochets actually i try both of them for here that's three half double crochets together this side and here two half double crochet two chain two half double crochets i prefer this one because it will be easy to join them like that if the corners uh, is so round like here it could be a little hard to join them maybe it uh, could look a little um, bad when you uh, put all of them together but uh, when it's when you made it square uh, they will directly touch each other from the corners and it looks good of course your choice okay i will make it like that and just put half double crochets as i show you i see you at the end again i made my last uh, half double crochet and i want to close here nicely cut your yarn and loosen up your loop take a yarn needle insert your needle from not uh, into this chain to okay into this first stitch here insert here and now insert into the last stitch you made and we create a stitch here so we can hide this tail nicely That's okay. And now we will make the um, rows. For the rows, start with a slip knot and make a uh, twenty six chains. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen, sixteen. 20, 25, 26. Just turn back and starting from the second stitch here, we will make single crochets. Insert into the second stitch, grab the yarn, pull through, yarn over and pull through from two loops. And 
keep making single crochets. At the end of the row we will have 25 single crochets. I will complete them and turn. I made 25 single crochets. Chain 1, turn. Insert into this first stitch and make a single crochet. Yarn over, insert into the next stitch here and make 5 double crochets. Make a shell here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Insert in, into the next stitch here. Make a single crochet. Don't skip any stitch. Insert into the next one and make a shell with five double crochets. One, two, three, four, five. Insert into the next stitch, make a single. And again, next stitch, make five double crochets. And a single. And just repeat this. Okay, make a single and a shell. Uh, keep going like that. I'll see you at the end. I make the last one. Insert into this last stitch. Join with a single crochet, chain one, and cut the yarn. Leave a long tail because we are we will use this for the sewing. Hide this tail. That's okay. That's enough. Because um, it will not see. And I like to use a little iron steam for this one. Uh, it will be look uh, better with it, I think. I will just make it and turn. I'll use my hair straightener <laughs> on it. I don't know why I made something like that because it looks it was looking uh, better before <laughs> I made this but it also uh, didn't look so bad so I will use this one we will fold this okay starting from here fold it like that Just leave this yarn here. Just wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Sit here, okay? Sit here. It's not yours. Okay, take this yarn to the outside and turn it like that. And 
and that's good now we will mm, sew it for the sewing as you see there's our uh, starting chains we will just insert them okay Insert here. Just try to insert into a stitch for every layer you have. I like to join here too. I think that's enough. Now we can attach this one to our um square when i attach this one i will use green yarn i'm not make a mass i will hide uh, this side later okay insert here He's gone again. Just try to make this good. <laughs> You see, you cannot see the green yarn from here. I'm not inserting like that. I just 
take a piece of yarn from here and same thing for here too. I will attach this one nicely, then hide the tail. See you at the end. And that's it. As you can see, I couldn't put both of them in the middle of the squares. <laughs> but this looks better. I, I know you can make better than me. I always say that I'm not good at this sewing kind uh, of things. Um, but even I could make it easily, so you can make it too. You see, it looks nice. There is no bad looking uh, tails or something like that. And at first I didn't like uh, the look, look of this um, rose, but I think uh, making it straight is a nice idea of course don't use a hair straight straightener um, you can use a uh, iron steam as I told you before because it looks better you see that same yarn same hook but in it looks smaller but uh, I think I made this a little wrong that has four layers and that has three and that looks better so try it uh, that's my first try and uh, that's the second uh, this one is better than that uh, I hope you like this tutorial. If you like, please don't forget to push the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Series Crochet is my Instagram address and Pinterest and website address too. You can reach me often. And that's it for today. Hope to see you again. Have a nice day.